Okay, this is a quick demonstration show building a topo map using uh, survey data. As you can see here I have a comma delimited file, x, y and z coordinates, uh, quite a number of those. I'm going to import those straight into SolidWorks as a point cloud. So I'm going to select point cloud from my list, uh, choose that text file, and I'll pop these straight in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my Scanda 3D uh, tools. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this point cloud into a mesh. Um, I'm going to automatically orientate that. And I'm not going to simplify the model because there's not that many points. It's only 785, but I, I could create simplifications at this time. Okay, I'm just going to turn on the, uh, the edges so we can see that mesh a little bit more clearly. You can see it captures quite that. I mean, what we can do is actually smooth out all those curves. Um, but I'm going to leave it rough because uh, that way our surface is going to capture those those spikes and any troughs more accurately. What we can do, if we wanted, we could choose just like a localized area and smooth that on its own. I'm not going to. Um, what we can also do is smooth the boundary. But I'm going to leave the mesh like it is. I'm going to go straight into creating, automatically creating the surface, and see we get a preview. Let me turn off the edges so that I personally going to make more surfaces. That way, I think we'll more accurately capture the uh, uh, the high curvature areas, and I think we'll stick with that. I'll turn my edges back on just so. Put some clarity when we're looking at this surface. You should be able to see that it's captured the surface quite nicely. Okay, we'll turn that off for now. Oops. Okay, there's a number of other tools there for comparing against the mesh, deviation analysis, and other stuff. So, what I want to show you is. Um, Creating a uh, topographical map from this from this model. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy down um, this plane to so just below the the model. I'll pin that command. We'll leave it there. And I'm going to make these. Don't want too many of them, just because it takes a little bit longer to process. So 22 planes, so uh, each at each of those intervals, so you can specify where you want them. We're going to make a um, uh, a contour, so we're going to do it. Um, use the uh, sketch tool intersection curves, and from that, I'm going to select the surface and hold on. Let me exit my sketch before I do that. Intersection curves. I'm going to select all of those planes. Okay, and that will process and we'll get a single 3D sketch that contains a number of 2D planes with the, the contour information in there. Then we can use this to uh, create a drawing, export to a DXF, it could go off uh, if you were making a scale model to a profile cutter. Um, to make it like a little landscape model. Or we could use the surface and create a solid, check, make uh, some geometry changes and see the volume that we need to cut out to build whatever uh, structure we need to put in there, and uh, a host of other applications that we could do. We can see that I'm actually working in millimeters here. As a uh, with the intention to uh, make a scale model from this. Okay, so that's done. Um, I'm going to come out of that command and I'm just going to hide all those planes. And I'm going to add them to a folder. the planes just to tidy the, the part file up. Okay. So you see what we have now is a number of a number of contours all in a 3D sketch. 
that we can use uh, to process our data. So I'm going to save this file and call it topo. And I'm going to hide hide the surface. I'm going to create a, a drawing. Actually, before I do that, I'll probably actually leave the surface on so I'm allowed to take a view in. So let me show that. Okay, and we'll just pop pop a, a view straight in. Leave it like it is. Maybe we'll change the sheet scale to something a bit more appropriate. And what we can do is we can turn on those lines, show those, and we can even go back into the model now and hide the actual surface itself. Okay, and then what we'll see is that we we're left with just nothing but a contour map. And we can go save as DXF and send it off for profile cutting like I in, intended to. And that's the end of the demonstration for now.